Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and yes, I am back with another review. I know it's been a while, we'll get to that, but today I wanted to bring you a really cool looking figure. Um, this is something I picked up recently off of eBay. This is Transformers Authentics Grimlock. Now, as we all know, there is a new budget line that's being given the overall branding of Authentics, even though I'm not sure if that's an accurate term. Um, the first four figures are four and a half inches tall, but there are also these five and a half inch or so uh, figures that are being released at the same time, or actually they were a little bit later on. Um, this is Grimlock, there's Optimus Prime, and I think Bumblebee. Now, outside of Grimlock, because there isn't a four and a half inch equivalent at this recording, as far as I know, the best way I can tell you the difference to make sure you're getting the figure you want is that I at least know Optimus Prime, and I, I may be Bumblebee, but I know Optimus Prime, comes with a part of the figure detached, much like Grimlock. So that's how you can tell. Um, these are basically dollar store, um, market six level type of figures that um, are designed for a more budget oriented consumer. Now, as I mentioned, Grimlock does come slightly disassembled, disassembled and unfortunately the instructions aren't 100% clear on how to put these things together. But that's what I'm here for. So first, we're going to start with the wing pack. I don't look like one of the panels there was starting to come off, but uh, on the instructions they show the head and the wing pack already connected. But in the packaging, they're not. So this is the easiest way i found is you want to take the wings, turn Grimlock around. Now there's this bar right here, as you can see. That comes flush in packaging. I had to use a little pry bar to get that up, well, far enough so I can use my fingers. Um, on the inside of the wings, now you want to make sure with the wings, these open slots are facing down. There are these two C-clips. And basically what you want to do is you want to pop those into place. Easier said than done uh, because this is on a hinge. I really wish they would have just put the extra effort into the packaging and having this connected, but it does snap on. So then what you're going to do is you're going to swing it down and it will just peg into place there in the back. The next step is you want to attach the dinosaur head. With the uh, snout and jaw facing out, this is a little bit easier to do once this is on, and that just snaps into place. Now, if you're like me, for storage, um, the wings section, the backpack section, does come off easily, but the head was a little scary. But once that's on, you have your completed Grimlock figure. Okay, so now with Grimlock completed, let's just come in real quick, and we can take a look at that. Uh, head of his that's a uh, kind of a a little chunky mix I want to say like chunkier version of the classic Grimlock head uh, got the red eyes big black faceplate yeah kind of nice kind of different let the light catch it but uh this is actually a pretty decent figure in my opinion um <laughs> You have ball joints here at the shoulders, ball joints here at the elbow. Um, you do have outward hip movement. Um, knees, there's a little bit of a swivel there at the hip because that's a ball joint. The head is on a full ball joint. I had a mine came a little frozen, so I just popped it and it worked fine. And of course, you know, everything moves there. Uh, the feet, as you can see, are kind of molded to put Grimlock in a A stance type of deal. Um, that's always a nice touch. Transformation is very simple. First, what you want to do is rotate the forearms around. And what's nice is there is a little bit of space, so you can uh, sort of lock them in by bringing them forward. That's more for dinosaur mode to get them into certain positions. But go ahead, do that. Come around the back here. Detach 
the backpack and swing it up on the hinge. And you'll notice on the backpack, let's see if I can show you here, there are little tabs, posts, that will peg in right behind that chest area. So you got that. You can, at this point, bring the arms forward a little if you want, just to make your life easier. Uh, the next step is you want to bring the legs together. Best to do this from the front. They do peg in here at the top where the uh, tail is, and there's like a little slot down here. Uh, and then you're going to just go ahead and fold this around and bring it up and it'll sit like that. really doesn't peg in much anywhere. Now the next part is a little tricky is you're going to close these um, cape pieces around to form the torso of the dinosaur T-Rex. And they'll peg together just like that. Getting around the shoulders is a little tricky. There's no magic way to do it. Now the final part is, you'll notice the two halves form a tab that's going to go into a slot right underneath the dinosaur head. And I strongly recommend grabbing the figure like this, holding the uh, torso together, just so the force of pegging um, the head into place doesn't drive the shell pieces apart. Doing that, you get a completed Grimlock figure. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, the dinosaur arms are just swivel. You do have that use of the ball joints here from the shoulder so you can position the legs. This is the traditional... Um, this is how I learned a Godzilla... Um, a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex stands uh, mode. But you can do the more... Well, this is how he really was supposed to stand type of mode. But unfortunately, the head doesn't flip forward. So it's up to you, and you can get, you know, places in between. Uh, it's a fun figure. Um, this is really a in-between spot of uh, the old Classics Deluxe Grimlock and the new Voyager uh, Power of the Primes Grimlock with a little bit of the old G1 guy thrown in for good measure. Authentic Grimlock isn't going to appeal to a lot of people. He has hollow legs. The transformation is very simple. While I would consider the articulation good, most people would consider this minimal at best. This is really for younger fans or fans who are on a budget, but personally, I think it's a great toy. It's simple. It harkens back to what I liked about Transformers growing up. Um, and it's fun. You know, there's not a lot of thought to it. Now, of course, this is about a $10, $12 toy. I paid a lot more than that. Chances are, if you're like me, you live in an area that doesn't have Market 6 stores, which means you're probably going to end up having to pay a lot more than $10 or $12. And I have a hard time recommending it for anything more than 15 But if you're a fan of this aesthetic, if you're a fan of Grimlock, it might be worth it to you. Now, I'm trying to get these figures as I see them. Amazon.com has listings without a price of the four and a half inch tall uh, authentic figures. I have not seen Grimlock Prime or B, if I got those right, um, the, the five and a half inch ones on Amazon. I lucked out and saw this on eBay because I have a search saved. That's what, my, what you might have to do. Or maybe you can find a friend who has like a Dollar General or something in their area and they're carrying these. The big box retailers like Target and Walmart and even Toys R Us before it went out of business weren't carrying these either. So there's that. But like I said, I think it's a fun figure. I think it's worth um, 10 or $12. And if you're a fan, pick it up. This is your old pal Chuck for Grimlock. We will see you next time.